So let's say Windows 11 is not really your thing right now, and there could be a, various factors for that. Maybe you're just not a fan of the operating system. Maybe you just don't want to adopt it right now. Maybe you don't like the changes they made. Or maybe you just uh, prefer to actually use another operating system like Windows 10 on your as your main operating system on your particular device, whether it be desktop, laptop, or in this case, the Microsoft Surface Pro 8. Can you toss on Windows 10 and remove Windows 11 as a factor here? Well, I have gone ahead and booted up the tablet here to actually go ahead and initiate the Windows 10 installation. So to actually do this on this particular tablet and other Surface tablets, you hold down the volume down button right over here on the left side, and then just hold the power button as you're powering it up. Hold them, keep them, hold uh, both of them pressed down for just a few seconds. And then once you actually see the Surface logo appear, go ahead and let go of the power button and just continue holding the volume down button over here. Uh, after a few seconds, you'll see that little circly spinny thing and you're pretty much good to go. I'm actually using a little uh, USB-C type uh, splitter to three USB ports that's actually available on Amazon. Last time I looked, it was around 10 or $15, but I'm pretty sure it's a little bit cheaper. So I have it actually plugged in here to one of my USB-C ports and got the thumb drive here. And also do have a mouse installed, uh, plugged in as well too, because as you can see, the touchpad is actually not working. So I went ahead and plugged in a mouse here so I can actually go ahead and manipulate stuff here. So let's go ahead with the Windows 10 installation. Let's see how this goes. Pretty straightforward options here. It's uh, Windows is probably gonna recognize the, you know, the basically the serial number, who knows what else. And it's probably just gonna install Windows 10 Home um, from the start. So let's go ahead and accept here. Looks like it did uh, pick up the SSD without a hitch. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all these partitions. All these are with basically Windows 11 partitions from the previous installation. And once this is all deleted, I'll go ahead and click on next. And our Windows 10 installation is initiated. So this will probably take a few moments. Let's go ahead and skip over it. I'll speed right through this. And uh, I'll meet you right at the, uh, once installation is complete. ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? So far, it looks like the installation is actually going off without a hitch, and uh, you can actually heard the uh, tablet actually speaking to me. But fortunately, when you actually want to try to click on something, nothing's working. So, jump back here to the original mouse, and let's go ahead and continue with the uh, setup here. Voice mode on. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Do you also type with another keyboard? Now let's get you connected to a network. Just so you know, connecting to a Type what you want to name your account.
Make your computer easier to use. Okay, now type a pa These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. Hey, look, that's me. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Looks like the volume control actually doesn't work, which is why I was letting the girl just chat away the entire little setup process there. But it looks like everything else is actually running okay. First thing we probably should do is uh, download this uh, driver pack specifically designed for the uh, Surface Pro 8. There is one for Windows 11, but there is actually one also for Windows 10. More geared for corporate uh, customers, um, since obviously they may choose to just uh, roll this uh, device back to Windows 10 or even buy the device with Windows 10 pre-installed. And I'll go ahead and download that little driver pack. That should probably get our touchscreen, audio, and other little, uh, basically little bugs right now that we're having right now. I was actually just using the accessibility uh, type uh, keyboard, uh, touch uh, keyboard there, since uh, you can also, using this little adapter I have here, you can also uh, plug in an external USB keyboard as well too, but I just went ahead and used the mouse, so no big deal there. As soon as I connected to Wi-Fi, actually, some drivers did kick in. You actually see the screen's kind of a little bright, and it looks like it did uh, actually pick up the uh, video card driver. And it looks like I actually picked up some other stuff as well, too. It looks like the touchscreen is now working as it actually should be. But just in case you actually run into any issues here, this is basically what you'll be looking for here. This particular um, search here ended up with Surface Pro 8 drivers and firmware and whatnot. You can actually click on download, which will actually take you to this window here where you would go ahead and choose Windows 11 or Windows 10. Good news is, looks like actually the drivers were installed and it looks like the touch keyboard now comes up as well too. You can actually see that here. Go ahead and type in control panel and it looks like this has actually come up. So let me go ahead and get some more Windows 10 updates installed here, customize it a little bit and see how it performs. So at one point while running some Windows updates, it looks like it actually did give me a blue screen and just crashed, give me a frowny face, unfortunately, as well, too. And uh, I did actually see some firmwares that were part of the um, updates there, so that might have actually been a cause of it. So after about two reboots, it seems like it's now more stable. Now it's actually just downloading one little update here. And uh, hopefully that should uh, get this resolved here and uh, we won't be having this any issues. I do have a backup plan. I'll probably install a corporate enterprise version of Windows 10 if I continue to see actually see additional little blue screens there. So if you are actually attempting to do this, bear in mind, you may actually bump into that when actually uh, attempting to download some uh, Windows updates. Despite the little setback I mentioned earlier about the blue screens of death, just uh, shortly after running a couple of Windows updates, Everything seems to be running pretty flawlessly now. It seems like, as I mentioned earlier, it probably had to do with a little bit of a firmware update that um, basically was already processed, but Windows Update still decided to trigger it regardless. And um, afterwards, after the basically that incident actually occurred twice, everything seems to be running pretty well. I actually just recently run another Windows Update from this uh, previous Tuesday's uh, usual uh, Windows Updates. And it uh, looks like everything seems to be still running Pretty decently well rebooted, shut down a number of times, charge the battery up, let it dry out, and everything uh, is still running pretty well. You can actually see the performance uh, over here, just a little bit of stats, and of course, uh, currently running Windows 11. And uh, let me just go ahead and bring up a couple of uh, little software here. I'll go ahead and open, open up uh, Word, open up uh, Firefox as well too, open up Excel, open up Edge, of course, now telling me that Edge has been updated fairly recently as well, too. And um, maybe I'll just open up uh, Acrobat Pro as well, too. So I'm going to go ahead and just bring up uh, Task Manager again and showing that around 71% um, memory being used. I have to admit, um, so far, everything seems to be running pretty well. I haven't, I don't really have any complaints. I'm going to go ahead and just restart it just to give you a little bit of a demonstration there. Try to find this out a little bit so you see the screen completely. So one reason I want to actually do this uh, quick short video here is because I just didn't see anywhere on uh, YouTube or 
very few mentions, even online, about using uh, Windows 10 on the Surface Pro A or even having it as an option. Now, as a consumer product, you probably won't be able to actually just buy it from Microsoft or even off uh, other websites with uh, Windows 10 preloaded. It's all going to be uh, Windows 11. But I did actually read that it is available for enterprise customers. And um, this is definitely an option that if it's available for enterprise customers, then Windows 10 can definitely be installed uh, for the everyday consumer as well, too. For some reason, I actually took a moment to actually um, reboot there. But here we are. And um, I wanted to actually go ahead and just throw on good old fashioned Windows 10 on the Surface Pro 8, just actually uh, demonstrate that it is an option if you'd like to go down that route, or you're just not ready to update to Windows 11. And as a matter of fact, if I actually go to update here, just to go back to Windows updates yet again, you'll see that it immediately tells you down here that it is actually, Windows 11 is actually available. Sorry, let me go ahead and uh, clear that screen up for you. There you go. Is actually available for an update and uh, you can definitely go ahead and update to Windows 11 from this Windows 10 installation if you choose to. The performance seems to be running pretty decently well as well too. I haven't actually noticed any real difference for the most part. Boot time, shutdown time, we go ahead and shut down here and uh, turn it back on is uh, pretty comparable to just using it in Windows 11. And uh, I would say times are actually uh, pretty on par with the performance you would actually expect from a particular premium device like this running uh, your operating system. I'll go ahead and just turn it on back here again. And here we are pretty much on par with uh, my Pro 7 boot times, uh, maybe just a half second off or so. And this is definitely um, an amazing experience to actually be able to have the option to use Windows, uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 on this device. And of course, one big feature that is uh, mentioned uh, for the Pro 8 that definitely does stand out between this and previous generations, just like the Pro 7, is the fact that you can actually have the option to use 120 hertz of refresh rate. And just to show you here, there of course are your details there, the, re the full resolution. And down there that currently it is using the 120 hertz uh, refresh rate. Now obviously just bear in mind that when you actually use 120, I believe battery power is uh, used up quite a bit more. But you know, if that's definitely what you wanna use, you have that option there. Um, just a little comment about that. While that's definitely an amazing uh, upgrade there and uh, definitely a nice feature to have as an option, uh, unless you're gonna be gaming on this particular tablet, you really won't see too much the benefit of uh, using that particular feature. And I'm actually gonna probably just go ahead and turn it off since this video is over. And I mentioned that because um, that's actually really the only time I really used it. Um, 60 Hertz on LCD screens is actually uh, pretty stable. Looks really nice. Um, the refresh rate is something that really goes back to CRT monitors. If you were actually using it, the CRT monitor at a regular 60 Hertz, um, you may actually start experiencing eye fatigue and uh, you know a little bit of a headache to some degree after hours and hours of that. And one, one way to actually avoid that is to increase the refresh rate. CRTs are definitely working quite differently depending on what resolution. You might be able to even push the refresh rate up beyond to 160 or even 200. In my case, when I was using it uh, back in uh, basically a fashion resolution of uh, 1200 by 1000 or so, I pushed it up to about 85 or even to 100. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, obviously, we don't use CRTs no more. But obviously, using LCDs have really um, given you this uh, different experience now when it comes to refresh rates. But um, obviously, becoming much more popular on gaming monitors, even mobile phones, is uh, this option here. And Using by eye, when you actually just click on the menu here or even drag a window across the screen, you can definitely see the difference there and the advantage of using it. But like I said, on a particular tablet like this, when you're not gonna be gaming or you know some other features that you would normally be doing on desktop, um, the, the benefit is uh, really just up to you. It could just be a personal thing, but just bear in mind that using the um, updated refresh rate will definitely suck more power out of the battery to some degree. And one last thing I'll definitely do here is just bring up the official uh, Surface app that I just went ahead and downloaded. And you'll immediately see, it will tell you welcome to your Surface Pro 8. And again, Surface Pro 8 
running Windows 10 without a hitch and um, performance is actually pretty on par that you would expect from the Windows 11. So again, if Windows 11 is not your thing or you just prefer to use what you're just used to at this time and then maybe give it another year or two before you decide to update, yes, you definitely do have that option. A little bit of a challenge or a hiccup there to get it going, but definitely working pretty well. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you shoot a like and subscribe, you found this useful. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll probably be using this uh, Windows 10 on the Pro 8 for some time. And um, I'll be honest, I may actually be getting my hands on another one of these for a family member. Probably gonna toss Windows 10 on for the time being as well too. Thanks again for watching everyone. And as always, stay safe. Take care.